Alright, so now for the final question to find angle CAG. So where exactly is CAG? C A G. You realize this is actually a triangle that cuts across the rectangular box. So can you can you imagine that there's going to be this triangle that's created? Where you have C to A going upwards to G. Now, I can say this is confirm a right angled triangle. Why? Well, because this side is part of the rectangular box and it's upright or vertical. So therefore, it's definitely a 90 degrees here. So with that, let's continue to fill in the sides or lengths that we know on this triangle. GC is the length of 3, so 3 here. AC. Where do we get AC from? Ah, actually it was part B. So we will use the more accurate value of 8.9443 rather than the 3SF version. So we use the 5SF version and now we want to find this angle here, CAG. So we have a side, we have a side and we want to find this angle. So what do we use? Yes, okay, so this side is actually opposite to the angle we want or we're using and this side is adjacent to this angle. So this is a right angle triangle so we are using Tuakaso, in other words tangent because of O and A. Tangent of the angle CAG gives me the opposite side 3 over 8.9443, the adjacent side. So what do I do to find angle CAG? I actually bring tangent over to get tangent inverse of 3 divided by 8.9443. So let's press the calculator. Tangent inverse, 3 divided by 8.9443. Okay. You get 18.5. This is the last answer, so I'll leave it in one decimal place.